Alphonse Batillon was a French police officer and biometrics researcher who applied the anthropological technique of anthropometry to law enforcement creating an identification system based on physical measurements. Anthropometry was the first scientific system used by police to identify criminals. Before that time, criminals could only be identified by name or photograph. The method was eventually supplanted by fingerprinting. He is also the inventor of the mugshot. Photographing of criminals began in the 1840s only a few years after the invention of photography, but it was not until 1888 that Batillon standardized the process. Biography Batillon was born in Paris. He was a son of statistician Louis Adolphe Batillon and younger brother of the statistician and demographer Jacques Batillon. After being expelled from the Imperial Liquor Copyright E of Versailles, Batillon drifted through a number of jobs in England and France before being conscripted into the French army in 1875. Several years later, he was discharged from the army with no real higher education, so his father arranged for his employment in a low-level clerical job at the prefecture of police in Paris. Thus, Batillon began his police career on March 15, 1879 as a department copyist. Being an orderly man, he was dissatisfied with the ad hoc methods used to identify the increasing number of captured criminals who had been arrested before. This, together with the steadily rising recidivism rate in France since 1870, motivated his invention of anthropometrics. His road to fame was a protracted and hard one, as he was forced to do his measurements in his spare time. He used the famous La Santa copyright prison in Paris for his activities, facing jeers from the prison inmates as well as police officers. Batillon also created many other forensics techniques, including forensic document examination, the use of galvanoplastic compounds to preserve footprints, ballistics, and the dynamometer, used to determine the degree of force used in breaking and entering. The nearly 100-year-old standard of comparing 16 ridge characteristics to identify latent prints at crime scenes against criminal records of fingerprint impressions was based on claims in a 1912 paper published in France by Batillon. The images of fingerprints which Batillon published in his paper and upon which his claims were based were found later to have been altered and were forgeries. Batillon died February 13, 1914 in Mar 1 Court in Stillingen, Switzerland. Batillon and the Dreyfus Affair Batillon was a witness for the prosecution in the Dreyfus Affair in 1894 and again in 1899. He testified as a handwriting expert and claimed that Alfred Dreyfus had written the incriminating document. However, he was not a handwriting expert, and his convoluted and flawed evidence was a significant contributing factor to one of the most infamous miscarriages of justice the Euro the condemnation of the innocent Dreyfus to life imprisonment on Davila Euro unregistered trademark S Island. Using a complex system of measurements, he attempted to prove that Dreyfus had disguised his handwriting by imitating his own handwriting as if someone else was doing so, so that if anyone thought the Bordero was in Dreyfus a Euro unregistered trademark S hand, he would be able to say that someone else had forged his writing. Both courts martial evidently accepted this, and Dreyfus was convicted. The verdict of the second court martial caused a huge scandal, and it was eventually overturned. Batillon was by many accounts regarded as extremely eccentric. According to Maurice Palilog, who observed him at the second court martial, Batillon was a Euro who is certainly not in full possession of his faculty is a Euro. Palilog goes on to describe Batillon a Euro unregistered trademark s argument as a Euro oi a long tissue of absurd tisa Euro, and writes of a Euro eyes moonstruck eyes, his sepulchral voice, the saturnine magnetism a Euro which made him feel that he was a Euro oi in the presence of a necromancer a Euro. Legacy Batillon is referenced in the Sherlock Holmes story The Hound of the Baskervilles in which one of Holmes' Euro unregistered trademark clients refers to Holmes as the A Euro the second highest expert in European Euro after Batillon. Also, in the Naval Treaty, speaking of the Batillon system of measurements Holmes himself a Euro A expressed his enthusiastic admiration of the French savant a Euro. In the Arsene Lupin story The Escape of Arsene Lupin by Maurice Leblanc, Lupin escapes by exploiting the same flaws in anthropometry that led to its eventual disuse. 
in a surfeit of lampreys by Ngao Marsh Chief Inspector Roderick Allen touches on the system in Chapter 14, Part 1. Batillon is also referenced in the Caleb Carr novel The Alienist. The Isaacson brothers, who are detectives, mention that they are trained in Batillon system. The Batillon measurements are also mentioned in the Ross MacDonald novel, The Drowning Pool and Eve Fay's Mystery, Floats the Dark Shadow. Batillon appears in Eric Sintz's novel Panama. Batillon is the main character of third episode of Czech TV series The Adventures of Criminology called A Euro OE Batillon A G A Euro. References and Sources, References Sources, Giantsberg, Carlo. Morally, Freud, and Sherlock Holmes, Clues and Scientific Method. In Eco, Umberto. C. Block, Thomas. The Sign of Three, Dupin, Holmes, Park. Bloomington, Indiana, History Workshop, Indiana University Press pages 81 a Euro 118. ISBN 978-0-253-35235-4. LCCN 82049207. OCLC 9412985. Giantsberg describes Batillon's role in the development of forensic science. This essay is a discussion of the conjectural paradigm as evidenced by the methods of Giovanni Morelli. Sigmund Freud and Sherlock Holmes in the light of Charles Sanders Park's logic of making good guesses or abductive reasoning. External links, The Adventure of Criminalistics, Criminicopus, Alphonse Batillon and the Identification of Persons 1880 Euro 1914, Central Missouri State University, Criminal Justice, Alphonse Batillon at the Wayback Machine, Example of Batillon Measurements in Practice, Instructions signal a copyright teaks by Alphonse Batillon, Ancestral Criminal Records a Euro includes Batillon cards.